Apple recently released the iOS 18.2 beta update, and here's every new feature that's been added, starting with iPhone mirroring on your Mac. If your iPhone is paired with a Mac running macOS Sequoia Beta 2, you can see a virtual version of your iPhone through macOS by opening the new iPhone mirroring application and following the setup instructions. A new RCS toggle in Messages settings enables the RCS messaging protocol to replace the previous SMS and MMS standard. Although the toggle only appears for US iPhone users with T-Mobile, Verizon, or AT&T, since those carriers are the only ones currently supporting RCS. The App Store icon on the home screen finally receives a dark mode version that wasn't available before, and the power button in Control Center now requires a long press to bring up the power off slider instead of a quick tap like before. Holding down on the Shazam icon in Control Center brings up a redesigned menu while the hover text icon now features an actual icon instead of being blank like before. The personal hotspot icon has changed slightly with a line across the center that wasn't there before, and the icon in the home screen customization menu has been updated as well with a paintbrush on top of a home screen. The home screen background brightness can now be adjusted with light, automatic, and dark mode icons, whereas before, the background brightness could only be turned down with dark icons. SharePlay screen sharing has been added, which lets you take control of someone else's device during a FaceTime call, useful for helping family members solve technical issues. Dark mode icons also come to the privacy and security settings page, so when you activate dark mode, these icons and settings will change instead of staying white. In Siri settings, the description has changed, perhaps in preparation of the Apple Intelligence features coming this fall. There's also no more press the side button for Siri toggle. The description in the Face ID and Passcode settings has also been changed. In the Photos app, if you go to Filter, then View Options, you'll find a new menu item called Show Shared With You, which allows you to see or hide all the photos and videos sent to you through messages. In the accessibility settings, the music haptics icon has changed from blue to red, while in the eye tracking page, the description has changed to something a little more detailed. iOS 18.2 is compatible with these devices and is available now as a developer beta. So those are all the changes made to iOS 18.2. This is Greg with Apple Explained. Thanks for watching till the end, and I'll see you in the next video.